Hello everyone and welcome to the very first installment of Quarantine Cooking with Seamus McGravy. Today we're going to be making Seamus' famous chip dip. Uh, this is quarantine cooking so the first thing you want to do, uh, get some wipes, wipe everything down. These are Purell. It says they kill 99.99% .99 of most common germs which probably means they're useless against the corona but we're doing our best here. Next thing you're going to need, uh, three ingredients, really simple in, uh, recipe today. Um, mayonnaise, sour cream, Worcestershire sauce. Um, first thing you're gonna need is a cutting board and a big fucking knife. Big fucking knife. Um, take your uh, completely full container of sour cream. You need one whole container of sour cream. We'll have the ingredient list at the end of this video. Uh, get rid of the lid, you don't need that. And you're gonna take a big bowl. Knife is gonna work. Dull side, so you don't, not to damage the sour cream. And you're gonna put one whole container of sour cream in the big bowl using the big fucking knife. Um, we can get rid of that now, we don't need it anymore. Um, next thing you're gonna to wanna to scoop any excess that the big fucking knife was not able to get and discard. Next ingredient, mayonnaise. Best foods is, I mean, it's the best there is, right? So don't waste your time with anything else. You're gonna to wanna to use this mostly clean scooper or get a different scooper. Um, I find that these, uh, it's called a spoonilla, works great. You know, if you don't have a spoonilla, you're probably gonna end up with mayonnaise all over your wrist, but what can you do? One cup of mayonnaise, set our sour cream to the side. One whole cup of the best mayonnaise you can find. There you go, look at that. If only we had a real cameraman, we could do a close-up on that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Keep it clean. Get lots of mayonnaise. It's about all the mayonnaise I have. I'm gonna have to... well, we're gonna have just about one cup of mayonnaise to go in the cup. Things get a little slickery once they get on there, but there you go, look at that one cup of mayonnaise. Oh man, slip sliding away. Once you have your cup of mayonnaise, you're gonna add it to the bowl with the cup of sour cream. This is very important that you get all the mayonnaise out of the cup. All right. The third and most important, important ingredient in the chip dip is Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce, say it with me. Uh, and don't skimp on the Worcestershire sauce, kind of like the mayonnaise, get the best you can get, which is Lee and Perrin's. It's made in England. Um, don't buy the fucking Kroger brand, you'll regret it. And uh, this is to taste. So you're gonna do one to 10 dashes of Worcestershire sauce. Um, I like about that much, right there. I don't know what that is. Could be a teaspoon, could be a tablespoon. And then you're gonna take your spoonula and you're gonna wanna mix, thoroughly mix this together. Important. The mixing is really probably the most important part of this recipe. Get it going. Make sure you get... It's hard to tell when it's mixed, honestly, because you have two separate white things that you're mixing together and it's, you know... Who's to say? Who's to say? You know? And that's probably good and mixed. Set our spoon a little to the side. And um, you know the best part about Seamus's chip dip is that it is 100% keto friendly. So you know depending on what you uh, what you got going on, I know that I'm on keto right now so uh, the best I can do is I got some uh, delicious uh, Max barbecue pork rinds or chicharrones as they call them where I'm from. And uh, those will go good with your chip dip. It's still technically a chip. Stuff a little bit on there. Enjoy.
It's good stuff. I had several requests for this recipe, all from the same person, but several requests for this. So I hope everyone enjoys. Uh, come back and see us again next time on Cooking with Seamus McGree. Oh,